And uh, I think first up is, where is she? Is she back there? I'm going to do something a little different. Why don't you come through the door? I'm breaking the script up right now. Come, come out of here. So uh, I have had a little of experience doing these things. Do you speak a lot in public? Recently, I've been speaking a lot more. OK, more. <laughs> and so typically, sometimes people your age get a little nervous. But you're a performer, mm -hmm. so you got this. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Danielle Kane. An individual has not started living until he can rise above the narrow confines of his individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of all humanity. This quote by Martin Luther King Jr. truly encompasses the mission set forth by the Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis. In our consistent state of recent turmoil, the Boys and Girls Club remains a safe place for all of its members. Since we can't ignore the environment, the club dedicates its programs to focusing on our positive development and growth. Recently, several female students were expelled from my school, MICDS, for a racially motivated incident. Being someone who identifies as biracial, I experienced several different emotions when dealing with this issue. For one, I discovered that racism and discrimination are just as relevant today as they were in the past. <laughs> Along with this, music has also been a very important part of my life. The Boys and Girls Club's music studio program has allowed me to develop not only my piano skills, I've been playing piano for about eight years, but it's also allowed me to explore my vocal abilities. The amazing relationships I've developed and experience I've been given have not only developed these musical abilities, but also allowed me to get better in areas such as confidence and dedication. My dedication carries into my love for basketball, which I've been pursuing for almost all of my life and my confidence can be best displayed through my first experience speaking in front of judges, which was on my first robotics team. <laughs> As a young fourth grader, I was so scared to, peek, to speak in front of a panel of five judges that I ran to the corner of the room, hid under a table, and I cried. Now as I'm standing here today and I look back on this using my metacognitive skills, it's a vocab word, I, <laughs> I realize just how far the Boys and Girls Club has pushed me out of my comfort zone and I can never be thankful enough for that. <laughs> Recently I've also been given the opportunity to mentor an elementary school robotics team and it's been one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. Ed. I enjoy the opportunity to teach connect, and also learn from my younger future scientists. But the Boys and Girls Club has not only affected my life, it's also positively affected others and communities around me as well. They successfully achieved their mission through the direct impact imposed on us as members to reach our full potential. As I continue to grow as a member of the club, benefiting from its programs, I will not only achieve my personal goals, but also influence others around me, raising them to a higher standard. Therefore, I will serve as a spokesperson and role model for America's youth. Thank you so much. I don't think I could have done that <laughs> when I was that age. I can barely do it now. Uh, I would be better if Jennifer was more help. If, um, <laughs>